Hello friends, today in this video I will be sharing my opinions on the MacBook Air 2016 and I have been using the MacBook for the past uh, 20 odd days so I will be sharing my experience previously I was a Windows user and now I am a Mac user so I will be sharing my thoughts on uh, what are the improvements I saw on it on and what are the things I don't like about the MacBook Air 2016 or rather the Mac so let's begin so the first thing which I immediately noticed while I unboxed the MacBook was its weight it just weighs 1.35 kilos and after lifting it up you would find your books to be more heavier so yeah it's pretty light and you would love to carry wherever you go okay so the second thing which i immediately liked about the macbook is its keyboard quality after using laptops which supported windows and then you switching to macbook the keyboard's quality is huge it's highly noticeable and also the comfort which you get while typing using uh, the keyboard pro provided in the macbook is just far way better than other windows laptop and also the backlit uh, feature which you get with the MacBook's keyboard is just quite attractive and gives it a very classy look. So the third thing which I liked about the MacBook is its trackpad gestures. Since it is a multi-pad you don't need to switch your fingers for a left click or a right click, you can click anywhere for a left click and also for right click you can uh, go to the system preferences and customize which uh, what gesture you want for a right click and also so there are several gestures uh, by which it makes your work to be uh, more easier as compared to a Windows laptop. So the next thing which I liked about uh, the MacBook is its build quality. So I also reacted in my unboxing video that it's pretty light and al along with the uh, weight, the thickness and the metallic body gives it very attractive feel. Uh, it's amazingly thin and uh, after using many Windows laptops when you convert to a Mac you would notice how thin it is and also you would love to use the laptop because of its thinness and also because of its build quality which is fully metallic and also the Apple logo which you get at the top of the laptop which glows gives it a very classy look. Next is its battery backup and on paper Apple says that you can get around 10 to 12 hours of battery backup on regular usage and uh, I can agree with it to some extent just because if you edit a lot of documents and if you browse through the internet uh, then it can be around 10 to 12 hours but if you edit a lot of videos and uh, music and if you play a lot of games then it can reduce to up to 7 to 8 hours so you have to be careful. Next comes is seamless experience. So using it for the last 20 days I haven't experienced any glitch in the performance or any hardware issues. All the things run absolutely fine and the experience is absolutely seamless. So the next is the applications developed by Apple itself and all the applications which we get in the MacBook pre-installed are made by Apple itself and the uh, user interface along with the features which we get with the application are absolutely worth buying. Okay so the next thing which I liked about the uh, MacBook is its camera. So switching from Windows to a Mac which has a 720p HD FaceTime camera is absolutely uh, a major improvement. Uh, with the with that budget uh, Windows laptop we don't get uh, that decent camera but with the MacBook we get a very good camera and also a good uh, camera for recording HD videos. Okay so the next thing which I liked about the MacBook is its charger. So it has a snappy charger and it magnetically attaches with your MacBook and since it's not duty traditional you don't need to worry about which side you're plugging into it so you can just hover the charging port so the, the charger around the charging port and it just automatically attaches to the MacBook so it's not an issue and also it has an extender so you can extend the uh, charger up to 12 feet so it's a pretty nice thing and also you get a stand in the charger by which you can easily bundle up the wire and it's easy to carry. So the next thing which I liked about the uh, MacBook is the very smart Siri. So with the latest uh, Mac OS that is the Mac OS Siri we get the very smart Siri and it's far way more practical and intelligent than the Cortana which is present in the Windows. So all the deep calculations and the commands which you give to Siri uh, makes it more interesting and also the interactions which you can have with the uh, Siri is more interesting. So next comes the application supportability. So around 70 to 80 percent of the applications which Windows support are also supportable in the Mac too. So it's not an issue. Uh, for example, the Microsoft Office or the Adobe Collection are also supported on the Mac, and you can purchase them. And uh, also some of the applications which are not supported by uh, Apple. Uh, so there is a solution that you can dual boot uh, Windows to your MacBook, and you can use the application without any issue. Okay, so the next thing which I liked about Apple's product is that it provides a lot of security towards your data. Uh, for example, if you download any uh, application from any third party developer apart from Apple, then it shows you notification that whether you want to install it at your own risk or not. 
and uh, another example is that if you make any changes towards your device and it ever uh, asks for your password any major any minor change it would ask uh, for your password and then only you can uh, update your settings so that's pretty uh, nice to notice that Apple uh, uh, takes care about their users data so yeah I like that okay so the next thing which I liked about the MacBook is its output by the speaker and uh, though there's no separate vents for the speaker and it's through the keyboard initially I thought that the output would be okay but after hearing I was really stunned the level was in between decency and loud so it's a very good thing to notice okay so even after loads of editing listening to music and playing short games the device still remains cool and I haven't faced any serious hitting issue with this device next comes the fast data transfer rates Okay, so the, with the USB 3.0 ports and also with the SSD, uh, we can transfer gigabytes of data in within 3 to 5 minutes and that's really worth appreciating. So these are some of the things we liked about uh, switching from Windows to Mac and now let's talk about some of the things we don't like about the Mac. So let's begin. Okay, so the first thing which I didn't like about the Mac is the limited collection of applications and games in the application store. So yeah, you can find uh, limited collections in the a paid uh, section but in the free option you get a very limited quantity and even in the paid collection uh, the collection which we get are 1.5 times higher than which are present in the windows store so that's a very sad thing to notice and quite surprising too okay so at number two comes its expensive parts so in india here the apple uh, mouse sells at around hundred dollars and also the keyboard is charged at around 85 to 90 dollars in India so that's really a lot of money and if you, and also if you provide any accidental damage to your uh, Mac or MacBook then also the uh, price to fix it is also quite high just because of the expensive parts which your Apple products contains okay so the next thing which I noticed about the MacBook is that since the body is entirely metallic so if you plug in your charger and switch it on then you experience a shock of low voltage so for me it's quite surprising and sometimes irritating uh, I don't know whether it's a problem in the unit but yeah I, I do experience a shock of very low voltage okay so the next thing which I observed about the MacBook Air 2016 is that it takes around 2.5 to 3 hours to charge from 0 to 100 percent and I won't say that it's uh, a thing which I don't like but it can be improved with the software update and can uh, reduce to around 2 to 2.5 hours which could be worth appreciating if it could happen okay so the next thing which I didn't like about the MacBook is that it does not have a HDMI port and even the Ethernet port which most of the Windows laptop in this price point has so it's a really sad thing to notice that uh, Apple has skimmed on all these important ports. Okay, so talking about the screen quality, I was really disappointed with Apple that they haven't updated the screen quality of the MacBook Air for the past four years. And uh, that's the reason that the viewing angles are not that great. Don't get me wrong, it is readable and decent, but I think that at that price point, they could have updated the screen quality to some extent. Okay, so these are some of the things I noticed when I switched from a Windows laptop to the MacBook Air 2016. And even in 2017, I think my decision to buy the MacBook Air 2016 was a really good option. So I hope that you have liked my video. If you liked it, I would appreciate if you click the like button. And if you have any specific questions, do not forget to comment in the comment section below. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, do share this video to your family members and friends whoever requires it. And I hope to see you in my next video. Peace.